Mitosis and the Cell Cycle. What is it really? At first glance, you'd think it would be that one mobile game that's very similar to Agario, but you're not that far off the mark. In fact, mitosis is exactly what's happening right now, a cell dividing into two identical daughter cells. In MZ Science, we will discover the stages of the cell cycle and mitosis. So to start off, there are three main steps in the cell cycle, interphase, mitotic phase, and the cytokinesis phase. Let's start with the interphase. Interphase is when the cell repairs any damages, duplicates DNA, and synthesizes cell organelles and proteins to get ready for division. Since cells aren't dividing all the time, it spends 90% of its lifetime in interphase preparing for cell division. There are three phases to this, G1, S, and G2. The G1 phase, also known as the first gap phase, is the first step of interphase. The cell grows in size, and new proteins and organelles are synthesized for the cell to function. The S phase, also known as the synthesis phase, reads and replicates DNA, making it a duplicate of chromatin. Wait, what is a chromatin again? Chromatin is DNA with histones, which are structural proteins. Essentially, chromatin is a long thread of information. Note, the function of the nucleus is to store DNA and coordinate cell activities. The G2 phase, also known as the second gap phase, initiates the starting of chromosome formation. Wait, what's a chromosome? A chromosome is contained within the nucleus. Its chromatin is condensed as it contains hereditary information such as the tallness of your body, your hair color, your eye color, and much, much more. It contains DNA and controls its functions. The G2 phase also starts with the creation of enzymes and structural components along with the centrioles moving to the opposite ends of each cell. The role of centrioles is that it helps in the formation of spindle fibers later on. At last, the prep work is done, and here you have it folks, Mr. Mitosis himself. In the mitotic phase, there are four other phases, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. Let's take a deeper look at what each of these phases do. The prophase is the first phase in mitosis. Many things happen in prophase. First, the chromatin, which is DNA and proteins, is condensed from being long thread to paired chromosomes, aka sister chromatids. Wait, could you explain what chromatids are again? A chromatid is half of a chromosome. When two chromatids are together, they are a chromosome, or sister chromatids. The centrioles of the chromosome move to each pole, the nucleolus disappears, and the nuclear membrane also breaks down, which its role is to protect the nucleus. In metaphase, spindle fibers are formed and attached to the centromere, which is the center of a chromosome. The chromosomes line up at the metaphase plate, an imaginary line cutting the cell in half. In anaphase, the spindle fibers shorten and begin to pull the sister chromatodes apart, moving them to opposite poles. In telophase, nuclei begin to form at both poles as well as nucleoli reappearing. Chromosomes also begin to uncoil back to chromatin as the cell membrane begins to pinch inwards. For plant cells, the cell plate forms and for animal cells, a cleavage furrow appears as shown in the video. The last and final stage is the cytokinesis phase. Although this already starts to happen in telophase, the cytoplasm begins to split in half. And voila! There are now two daughter cells that have both returned to interphase, where they will restart the cycle once again. Pretty cool, isn't it? Through these simple phases, a cell can make more of itself. But Mr. Speaker, why is this important? Why has cell division and mitosis won this debate? Well, it's actually really simple. One of the reasons why cells divide is because we need to grow. Human cells divide to increase the number of cells in the body, which in turn make us all grow. Another reason why cells divide is to repair dead, damaged, or old cells. If you get a cut on your hand, cells divide to replace those damaged cells. Lastly, reproduction is another reason. For example, bacteria undergo mitosis to survive, while skin cells undergo mitosis to protect the human body. Objection. What about sexual cells? Don't they produce offspring and not identical copies? How can mitosis do that? Exactly. 
In fact, the production of sexual cells is not mitosis, it's meiosis. In meiosis, each cell has to go through the division process twice. In conclusion, mitosis is really amazing. This is MZ Science, and keep on living.